All right, now the fun part, we're gonna start cutting in the walls and then we're just gonna do a first cut in coat on everything, then we're gonna roll the walls and then we'll go let that dry and do it a second time. Uh, so I'm gonna go over some of the more technical pieces of edging. Uh, people call it edging or cutting in, but basically uh, we're gonna do a, we're going to brush on a brush's width of paint all the way around uh, the perimeter of the walls. Um, and the paint that we're using is Duration Matte. That's a really nice finish. Uh, Duration's got um, like a rubberizing agent in it. It's a really nice paint where it's got a good finish and it's highly wipeable as well, but it's not too shiny. So uh, we can go over sheens a little bit later, but um, a matte finish is what a lot of people like in their bedrooms and most of their residences. So that is what we are going with. It's one of our favorite paints. And so the color we're using is China White. It's uh, also known as Sea Pearl and is a Benjamin Moore color, but we got it in Sherwin William, uh, Sherwin Williams paint. Uh, so, cause Sherwin Williams pretty much has every color on file and we do this all of the time. Sometimes you have to double check and just make sure it's the right color, but we have used this quite a bit. It looks great. And I, this color got color of the year in 2015. Um, it's just one of our favorites. So that is what we're going on in this room. Yeah, I'm just gonna run you guys through the more technical pieces of cutting in. And uh, I'm using a two and a half inch Corona Cortez brush. It is my favorite brush. It's what I always use to cut in and pretty much what I use to paint anything. So the most technical piece of edging and probably one of the hardest skills to get really good at is, cl is cutting a clean line uh, between the ceiling and the wall. So we have already, the ceiling is done and we, we already ran the ceiling paint onto the wall. So now it's up to me to make sure that this is going to look as straight as possible. Most of the time, there's not a perfect 90 degree angle here. So really what you're looking at is trying to, uh, as you cut in, it's kind of your own judgment as far as visually getting it to look as straight as possible. So that's why we don't like taping things in. It almost always looks horrendous if you try and tape the ceiling and pull that off. A lot of times it pulls the ceiling paint off and it doesn't look good. So, uh, and this is what I have told folks that have worked for us. One of the, the key pieces to this is starting at the right angle uh, when you're on the ladder. And uh, you want to be when you're look you want to be looking up at the line because some people get too high up. Like right now, I'm like even Steven with the very top of the ceiling. If I go to cut this in, it's not going to look straight when I get back down. You've got to look at the wall, like where you're actually going to be looking at it from uh, in the room. So you're no one in the room, unless you're like crazy tall, would be looking at it dead on. You're always going to be looking at it from down low. So that's how you want to cut it in. So dip my, my brush and you always want to start uh, the painting like off of the main line here. You, you don't want to start right up against because again, you want to have enough room to spread out the paint. So, um, and also you're not going to go this way. You're going to go this way to cut in the line. So I'm just going to work the paint up a little bit, start my line. Again, so I'm going to start in the middle, keep cutting. And it's a, it's always better to go a little bit higher up on the ceiling. Um, than to, than to go not high enough because then it won't look, you'll, you'll see the gaps and it won't look as good. So that is your line here. So that's your line. I'm just going to take this line all the way down. Again, I'm, I'm staying low, lower on the ladder than you, know, you might if you're edging the ceiling or whatever, but, and so what's nice about using a sashed brush, it gives you a really nice angle. And if you take good care of your brushes, it just makes cutting in and cutting straight lines really easy. So 
I'm overlapping. And so as I apply the, the paint on the wall, I'm spreading it out. And then once I get my clean line, then I come back over and just feather everything out like we've, we've done with everything else we've cut in so far. Again, you don't want any big globs of paint or uh, anything that's going to look bad when it dries. Feather that out. Take your time on this. This is, I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I've uh, done quite a bit of this. So just give, your, give yourself a little grace and patience and uh, it'll, it'll turn out, uh, it'll turn out good. So I'm gonna come down this corner real quick, just so where, when I step off the ladder, I can reach it. Come back over here. And you want to pick a good pattern on the wall. We generally like cutting out the walls, um, you know, one at a time. So everything on that wall is cut in. That way we just know it's done. Again, I'm moving left to right. I'm going to cut around this hook real quick. So there's a picture going right back over here. And then also this vent has already been painted. So I'm going to cut around it and also paint it. Generally, I'm going to start on the grooves of this. Make sure I'm just working that paint in all the edges there. or any big, any big areas of paint that are gonna run or goop up or anything like that. All right, now I'm gonna do the bottom. And then it's a good idea to double check the tape and just make sure it's nice and sealed. We did a pretty good job of sealing this the first time, so it shouldn't be too bad. And again, you wanna, when you go to cut in the bottom, don't start the paint, don't start the brush, like a newly loaded brush right on the, the tape line. Just start a little bit above it and then you kind of work it down a little bit. And you can get right on that tape that's doing its job. You should have a nice clean line when you go to pull this. And again, every time I'm, I'm dipping my brush, but not too deep, and then I'm wiping it off the, the edge of this uh, edging container. Um, so then I'm, I don't have all that much paint on here. It's not a, but the brush, just like a roller, will get more loaded with paint the more you paint with it. And then you kind of can go further and further. I'm pretty particular about keeping my brushes relatively clean. I don't like it when the paint works its way down to the heel and it's all gross. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep working this paint down. I'm gonna cut around this little outlet here. So the phone line's coming into this room. I cut around this outlet. Again, the purpose of edging is to hit everything that you're not going to be able to get to with a roller and giving yourself uh, plenty of overlap so that when you go to roll, you're not having to get too close to the ceiling uh, or too close to the wall or the, uh, any of the trim or anything you're not trying to get paint on. All right, so I've run this all the way into the corner and now I'm going to connect my line. So that is a 
That is a properly cut in wall. I've got a nice straight line at the top here. And now I'm just gonna continue that pattern all the way around. So if you just pretend that this is, it's the same concept as what we did with the ceiling line. Uh, you just want to run a clean vertical line on this trim paint. Um, so we're going to go from the top down. And again, you want to start the paint. Okay, as you're doing this, if you're going to, whenever you're cutting a, a straight line, you want the, the side that I'm wiping off so like there's not a lot of paint on that side of the brush that's the side that's going to go closest to the part that's making the straight line so i'm going to dip wipe and then i'm going to start out away from the edge i'm trying to make and then i'm going to come in here and straighten that out i don't have a lot of pressure on the brush i'm not smashing the bristles it's a kind of a feel thing spread that out again I'm not putting a lot of, br of paint on the brush. Just spreading her out. And when you're painting up against trim like this, it is gonna spread a little bit more nicely just because you're running um, on top of semi-gloss. So work that into that corner down there. Drop down and then I've just gotta cut in this little curve here. Same thing, you start away from the edge, work it in, and wham. All right, so uh, this is our last little bit that I've got to cut in for our first coat. So I just want to mention one other thing here is uh, how you use your ladder. Um, this is my preferred way is that I want the ladder facing the wall so that when I walk up the ladder, I'm just, I'm right here, and I'm working left to right across my body. Uh, sometimes if you're in a tighter spot, you've gotta turn, you, you've gotta turn the ladder like this, and then you come up and you kinda have to reach further across your body and then work the line this way. I just find it's easier to, if you have the space, stay about like, you know, about 12 inches off the wall with the bottom of the ladder, and then that way I'm just working right in front of me and then it's just much easier to, uh, it's, I guess it's like more ergonomic. And I think it's actually quicker to do this if you have the space. Like coming across uh, like where this couch is, I didn't have room to do that. So I had to, I had to keep the, the ladder this way. But again, when you do that, it's just a little bit like harder on your body because you're reaching further across. There's a lot more torque and twisting and things like that. So on this wall, I've got a straight shot so I can, do my preferred method the entire way. Same thing we did on the other side. Make sure I'm running that paint right up to the 
inside edge of that door casing. Let me get off my ladder. Work my way down the wall here. Get around this light switch. Again, it's very similar to like the same kind of stroke you use when you paint trim. You just want it to look like one long brush stroke when you're done, not a bunch of little choppy ones. So that's why, I'm, you know, you overlap as you go. And boom. There we go, we are all cut in, and now we are ready to rock and roll. Amazing.